thrusters and impulse engines at your command, sir. Weapon systems and shields on standby. Dock control reports ready, Captain. Boats! Buckle up. Scotty, how we doing? Dilithium chambers at maximum, Captain. Get down! Shoot. Prepare to engage thrusters. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Permission granted. As you have yet to select a first officer, respectfully, I would like to submit my candidacy. Should you desire, I can provide character references. It would be my honor, Commander. Maneuvering thrusters, Mr. Sulu. Thrusters on standby. Take us out. Aye, aye, Captain. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Your ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life forms and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Welcome to Rocket Lab. If you come to any Rocket Lab facility, you're going to see these words on the wall. We go to space to improve life on Earth. This has been a cornerstone of the company right since our beginning. But if you're going to deliver on this statement, there's a number of things you have to solve. And the first and most important thing you had to solve was access to space. This was the thing that was critical. So we kind of feel like that's a solved problem. We've launched a bunch of electrons, we're going to launch a bunch more, and access to space really isn't the problem anymore. So I'm really excited to, to be able to announce the next big step for Rocket Lab and how we're going to really deliver on that mission statement right from the very beginning. So Flight 14 started off as any normal flight. Well, as normal as a return to flight can be, you probably saw me in mission control there behind a little bit more stress than usual. Okay, actually probably a lot more stress than usual as you would expect from a return to flight. But mission was completely nominal and we deployed our customer Capella, uh, their spacecraft into a perfect accurate orbit um, as usual. Except uh, it wasn't a usual flight. What happened after payload deployment was actually really special. And for me personally, there was a real magical moment sitting with the engineers where we sent a command to the kick stage. And that command was a command that turned the kick stage into our very first satellite. This is the future. I'm excited to be not only part of Rocket Lab's evolution, but really contributing to the evolution of the small satellite industry as a whole. It's based on the electron kick stage and converted into a full state-of-the-art spacecraft. based on the kick stage. So kick stage is really electrons brains. Um, we upgrade the kick stage with additional equipment for high power generation, um, higher accuracy attitude control, high speed downlink, and in some cases enhanced propulsion to create a best in class small spacecraft capability. We use an approach called phasing orbits. So the phasing orbit approach basically is a flexible uh, mission concept that can target the moon, Mars, Venus, or really any planetary destination using basically the same mission concept. 
missions to the moon, and of course, my personal favorite, missions to Venus to go and search for some origins of life.